ऐसे और वीडियोस के लिए इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ कमीशन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आई वेलकम यू टू दिस कंट्री एंड टू दिस प्लेस इंडिया हैज़ बीन एसोशिएटेड विद द यूनाइटेड नेशंस बिकॉज इंडिया हैज़ बिलीव्ड इन द एम्स एंड पर्पजेस ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस एंड इवन दो समटाइम्स नो टेंजिबल रिजल्ट्स हैव फॉलोड इन द यूनाइटेड नेशंस वी हैव बिलीव्ड दैट वी मस्ट फॉलो दैट कोर्स इन द होप दैट टेंजिबल रिजल्ट्स will come sooner or later we have taken part in your various commissions because we have felt that quite apart from the political aspect of the united nations the economic aspect is at least as important if not more important indeed we cannot consider the one without the other politically we have not met with great success so far but i think that if we succeed in the economic field that it will affect the political field also there has been talk in the past of one world in the political sense but it is even more important to consider it in the economic sense you are meeting here to deal with asia and asia's problems because we cannot escape looking at almost any problem except in the global context today asia is big enough and the subjects you have to deal with are vast and of very great importance the governor of madras referred to the numerous papers and memoranda that you have before you and i feel rather overwhelmed when i look at all these papers and files and when i see all these experts because i can only speak as a layman but while experts are quite inevitable in the modern world sometimes i have a feeling that they become very impersonal and look at problems as if they were mathematical and algebraic formula well we have to deal with human beings and the future of human beings and asia the area under survey has a population of at least 1000 million human beings in india including pakistan there are 40% of those 1000 millions that is 400 millions and we have to deal with these vast numbers practically half of the world's population if you look at the human aspect of these 1000 millions with their sufferings with their wants with their joys and sorrows the problem becomes something much more than a dry economic problem which you have to solve now for many years past most of these problems have been considered in the world context and i had a feeling and i still have that feeling that the continent of asia is somewhat neglected somewhat overlooked it is not considered important enough for as much attention to be given to it as is given to certain other part of the world possibly that has been so because most of the people who were considering these problems were themselves intimately connected with the other parts of the world and naturally they thought of them in the first instance naturally also if i have to consider these problems i would attach more importance to asia 
बिकॉज इट अफेक्ट्स मी मोर इंटीमेटली अबाउट दैट काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन अपार्ट इट इज क्वाइट ऑब्वियस दैट यू कैन नॉट कंसिडर द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एशिया और द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ यूरोप और द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अमेरिका और द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अफ्रीका इन आइसोलेशन फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अदर कंट्रीज इट जस्ट कैन नॉट बी डन एंड इफ सम कंट्रीज विच आर फॉर्चुनेट इनफ टूडे थिंक दैट दे कैन लीड देयर लाइफ इन आइसोलेशन इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट हैपन्स इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट दे आर अंडर a misapprehension today if one part of the world goes down economically it has a tendency to drag others with it just as when unfortunately war breaks out other people who did not war are involved so it is not a question of the prosperous merely out of generosity of their hearts helping those who are not prosperous to generosity is a good thing but it is a question of enlightened self interest realizing that if some parts of the world do not progress remain backward they have an adverse effect on the whole economy of the world and they tend to drag down those parts that are at present prosperous therefore it becomes inevitable to consider these problems in the global way and to pay even more attention to those parts which are relatively backward asia has been for generations past in a some static and backward condition but during the last few years mighty forces have been at work in asia these forces inevitably thought in terms of political change to begin with because without political change it was not possible to have any far reaching or enduring economic change large parts of asia were colonial territory dominated by other countries from that connection they have obtained some advantage sometimes while it did undoubtedly in a sense shake up that static condition at that same time it tended to preserve it to for the benefit of the people 